Hello folks, welcome back. welcome back. This is amazing. I've made more videos in the past 10 days than I did in the past like three months. That's kind of impressive. And as you can tell, I am no longer in exile. I have the office all set up minus a calendar. I have to find a pinups calendar. That sounds about right. Nice little pinup calendar. Um, what else do I need in this office? Oh, the door of wrestling is kind of no more, so that will have to get filled in eventually. I don't know, because I don't know if NXT is going to do any more um, meet and greets. The whole COVID-19 thing. I don't know. Eventually, they'll, they'll get back to it. Yep, I hope everyone's been enjoying the videos I've been putting back out since I'm back. Again, yeah, now I've changed shirts. My SPL, Southern Pro Lucha Libre League, local promotion down here in Florida, in Daytona Beach. Actually, you know what? I might go see one of those shows. If I get a Friday night off, and it's not a date night, I might carry some live wrestling content for you guys but you know what it's predictions time so hit my connection is made there we go this is gonna be NXT vengeance day instead of Valentine's Day it's vengeance day or Saint Valentine's Eve also, remember, coming up, for Valentine's Day, I'm going to have a Valentine's Day special back from the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. I have to tweak that arena because I can't use a beach because there is no more beach arena. The ocean took the beach because, like the song goes, American Pie. My, my, Miss American Pie. I drove my Dodge Ram to the beach. But the beach was gone. So yeah. So let's hear. So let's get serious. Let's talk about Vengeance Day. There's actually surprisingly a lot of matches for Vengeance Day. Um, let's see here. What's my snooze? That's my Stone Cold Lock. That's easy. That dork's not winning that. That might be the match of the night. And yeah, um, that does have the New Day in it. Those something. I don't know. What should I snooze through? Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, I can't watch this. I have to close. I work 4 p.m. till 11.45 p.m. So this will be well over by the time I get home. You know what? You could miss that probably opening match anyway. That's just going to be a lot of booty. Booty, booty. So let's, see, let's start off with a match you can miss. Or as I say, the match you can take a cat nap through. And that's going to be Katana and Kaden taking on Fallon Henley and Kiana James. I will be honest, folks. I have not watched NXT in a while. The last time I saw NXT, I was kind. I was really disappointed. It just seemed like a televised house show. So I am not up to my NXT info. But from what I know, probably Katana and Kaden, I don't think they're going to lose the belts. Because they have the women's tag team belts. Katana and Kaden are going to win. Um, there'll probably be some dust up between Fallon Henley. Because she's the, the redneck bimbo. And Kiana is, is the rich bitch. Oh. I 
can't that I can't say those anymore because that YouTube algorithm. So I have to sense. I have to edit, edit, and censor myself. So, Kiana, James, she's just a rich. But oh well. Yeah, she. Yeah, they're gonna lose. Katana and Kaden are gonna win. Almost my Stone Cold Lock, you never know. Uh, I don't see this match being great, though. Probably next will be my match of the night. That's going to be Apollo. Apollo! Cruz versus Carmelo Hayes. Um... Paulo Cruz, I think, is in NXT mainly because he wants to work with the young, younger talent. I can't see Carmelo Hayes losing. The only... Because if he wins, that's actually better for him when he gets his call-up to the main roster. He is call-up ready, though, I think. Paulo Cruz, I think, just likes the less stress of working in NXT. Doing his, like, Sharingan, Byakugan... Dojutsu thing or whatever. Yeah, he is a Sharingan where he sees the future. So yeah, um, Apollo Cruz is gonna lose. He's gonna do the, the job to Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes wins. He. I hope they don't stick him with. Um. Top dollar or whatever they are. Because I saw that one guy's dive over the over the top rope. I could do a better dive over the top rope. Glad that I fall on my head on the floor. But at least I wouldn't break my neck on the ring apron. And look like a dope. Um, then we'll have the tag team match. The New Day. Taking on Goddess. Versus Pre-Deadly. Versus Chase University. This is the one I'm going to go out on a limb on. Only because I've heard good things about it. Chase University wins. I don't know. Who knows what's going on. Um, so yeah, so that's that. Then we'll have Wesley versus Dijak. Dijak should win. He's been without a belt, and he's have had so many bad gimmicks. They just have to say, here, we have to toss you a bone or something. Because, yeah, that would be a good feud, too, to carry on. Dijak's going to defeat Wesley. Wesley's always, always been to me again. I associate him more with the Rascals from Impact, so, yeah. Um, I don't know, this might be a match just to snooze through, too. Roxanne Perez versus Gigi Dolan versus JC Jane. Yeah. Roxanne Perez is going to keep that belt until they figure out what to do with their women because NXT women used to be really good. Now, not so much. And then my stone. Cold lock of the night. We have Braun Steiner. I I mean, I mean Rex Breaker. I mean Braun Breaker. Taking on Grace and Walla. The Aussie, the Australian accent. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Um, Braun Breaker is not losing his belt to Grayson Waller. That's not happening, folks. They're going to have eventually Braun Breaker go all Steiner. And hopefully he goes all Steiner on Grayson Waller. And that is my Vengeance Day picks. 
Um, let's take a little quick little break. Let's recap what happened very quickly at the Royal Rumble. I was pretty good. I was kind of shocked. Um, yeah, just to run things down quickly, I picked the Royal Rumble winner, Cody Rhodes. That was kind of obvious. I got four out of five right. Um, I got my Stone Cold lock right. I think. The match of the night. Match of the night it might have been the Men's Royal Rumble. That's all that was going on. That's hard. Got the snooze right. You know what? I'm going to give myself four and a half points out of five. What kind of booker does that make me? I have to change that up, by the way. Stephanie's gone. So I think the top tier will still be Paul Avec. Second tier. I might have to put Tony Khan, Tony Khan's face in there. Third tier is going to be delirious. Because he does the booking. Or used to do the booking of, of Ring of Honor. Then I'm still going to have the 50-50... The mark, the mark and the disinterested fan if I get nothing right. I think once that actually happened. I've never gotten them all right. I was never in Vince's head, but that's okay. So a very quick recap. Let's just say for the sake of argument, because I don't have the picture yet. I have to make change. I have research to do. I was in the head of one Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Because I got four out of five right. Cody Rhodes, as I predict, as I rightly predicted, was actually the first match. I'll tell you what. Cody Rhodes won. Man, that was a fun match to watch or to hear about. I didn't watch it, so I can't give it any rating. You know what? Just because I picked it, I'm going to say that was a surf and turf quality match. Then I think there was the Bray Wyatt versus LA Knight in the Lights Out match. You know what? I'll give them points for creativity. The, the ending was kind of goofy, but I did like the fact that they had like neon colors so and they used black light. So it does make a little sense. So that's pretty good. You know what? Just for that, that's a cheeseburger match. Then we had Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. Then we had Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss. When, when I see matches like this, I think Vince is still doing the booking. Um, it was serviceable. It wasn't toast. They really didn't do anything special. This is a can of soup match. And then in the main event, we had Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Again, my match of the night. Probably not so much, but it should have been my Stone Cold Lock. But I got everything else right. Oh, oh yeah, um, the w winner of the Women's Royal Rumble was Rhea Ripley. Charlotte Flair wasn't even in it. So I was just totally off there. But uh, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns won. There's the whole sort of the conflict with uh, uh, Jey Uso. So that made things a little bit more interesting. Solid match. Surf and turf match. Solid 
Overall, I think because of Cody Rhodes. That just set the tone. Again, the Bray Wyatt match was at least different. The Women's Royal Rumble wasn't bad. I think I gave that a cheeseburger. Or I'll upgrade it to a cheeseburger. Alexa, that was just... that. Bianca Belair versus Alexa Bliss could have been on, like... Smackdown, who knows? That brought it down. You know what? Overall, I'll, I shall say this was a surf and turf Royal Rumble. And that's it. That's all the WWE news for now. Um, remember, I am not doing... Daily shows, it's way too much, and especially with my work schedule, that ain't happening. So, but again, I'll, I'll be posting more videos, so um, Thursday night, I will be doing Impact Wrestling. That was my bread and butter. That and fat, that and watch, that and um, Lucha Underground. I miss Lucha Underground. But Impact's just as goofy, and they've done a little bit, I don't know. Impact does goofy right. WWE does goofy stupid. And AEW tends to be a mess sometimes. So, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Again, you don't realize how much I appreciate all your output of support out there. Um, this video will be coming up shortly. The cat's all falling asleep on pillows and stuff. She's all curled up and cuddly. You don't see cute pictures. Here we go. Let's see if I can Let's see her. Where is she? There she is. She's taking her little cat nap. She got her outside time for the day. So let's go back here. Oh, get that above keyboard level. Make sure it doesn't cut the top of my forehead off. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good shot. That's a good... Oh, wait, that's where it was, I think. What am I saying? Okay, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I shall catch everyone later. Bye, folks.